Hello and thanks for joining us again for this Me vs Maths tutorial number two in our series on trigonometry in right angle triangles. We've previously looked at how to label sides within a right angle triangle in a particular way and now we're going to use what we've just done. We're going to move on one stage further and start to look at what I tend to call the trig formulas. They're ratios really but in my experience students tend to be happier with the word formulas so that's what I shall use. We need to be familiar with three of these trigonometric functions or trig formulas, sine, cosine and tangent. And there are three buttons on your calculator that it's vital you recognize to be able to work on this topic. Whether you're using a traditional calculator or a calculator on your phone, they will most likely be labeled as sin, cos and tan. So be sure you know where those buttons are. You can see them here in a popular model of calculator, but if you've got a different model, they should be just as easy to find. And they'll normally be grouped together as they are on this model here. Okay, we're also going to be using these terms again from the previous tutorial. Hypotenuse, opposite and adjacent. And if you're not familiar with those, then you really do need to go back and check out that first tutorial before moving any further through this one. Okay then, these are the three trig identities or formulas and I know they can look a little bit scary if you've never seen them before but don't panic, we're going to take it very slowly. Firstly we have sine theta, remember that symbol from last time, theta represents an angle. Sine theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta equals the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse and tan theta is equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. Now to help us remember these as a phrase that is often used and that phrase is so ca toa. It's just a nice little prompt to help you remember these three different formulas. So how does it work? So the S stands for sine theta, the O for opposite and the H for hypotenuse. Ca, the C stands for cos theta, the A for adjacent and the H for hypotenuse and so on. I'm sure you get the idea. Now as you may notice these three trig formulas work with different combinations of sides and that means we use a different one depending on the problem we're working on. And that's what we're going to look at now. Just a couple of examples of how we decide which of these formulas we need to use. So all we're going to be doing here is deciding which formula we'd use to find side Z. We're not actually going to be working it out. Firstly, we'll label our sides up then. The hypotenuse is opposite the right angle. Next, the opposite is opposite the active angle. In our case, that's the angle marked as theta. And finally, we have the adjacent. Now, to decide which formula we need to use, we'll look at which sides are active in our question. Now, we've been given the hypotenuse, so that is an active side. Let's look at which of those trig formulas the hypotenuse appears in. As we can see, it's part of so and ca. Our next active side is the adjacent, as that is the side that we are looking for, so it's part of our question. Again, let's look which formulas the adjacent appears in. We can see it appears in ca and toa. So we're not really interested in the opposite for this question. It's not active. We've not been given it. We're not being asked to find it. So we just ignore it really. Okay, if we look at our three trig formulas, we can see the formula that uses both our active sides is CA. Or more specifically, if we recall what that actually stands for, cos theta equals adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So that's the formula we would use to find Z. We're not actually going to find that side as I stated before. We will do that in the next tutorial in this series. Okay, let's look at one more. Again, let's label our sides up first. We have the hypotenuse opposite the right angle, the opposite opposite the active angle in our question, which again is theta, and adjacent the odd one out at the end. Okay, this time we are given the opposite, so that is one of our active sides, and we can see that appears in two of our trig formulas on the right hand side. Our other active side is the adjacent, as this is the one we're looking for. And again, we can see which formulas that appears in. 
This time we're not interested in the hypotenuse, that's not part of our question at all. So, as we can see, we're not going to use so, we're not going to use ca, it's toa that's using the two sides that are involved in this question, or again, remember what that actually stands for, tan theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. That is the trig function, the trig formula that we would use. So we've been introduced to the three trig formulas and how to decide which one to use and when. In our next tutorial, we'll actually start using these formulas to calculate missing sides. And later on, we'll find missing angles too. Don't forget that if you're watching through youtube.com, visit our site at Me vs Maths for lots more resources and the ability to track your progress. Thanks for watching and as always, I hope to see you again soon.